Rivers. Are you diddling? All right, I hope. Well, what we're we doing today? Can you tell what it is yet? Yes, it's a uh, 2018 Royal Enfield Himalayan. So let's have a look. I tried to test drive this last year, but unfortunately uh, they didn't have any in stock that worked, i.e. they'd only sent over the um, They'd only sent over the carburetor model and uh, sent no keys with it because they didn't want anybody to start it up. Because in this country, because of European Eurocat things, we got. Uh, I think they said we got to have the EFI model, not the carburetor. Makes you wonder how they get away with it, don't it? Anyway. Quick review. This is all about uh, the looks and the rideability. I'll tell you one thing. I mean, it's not a quick bike. You know, if you're buying one of these, expecting it to be a quick bike, it's not. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and add in a few statistics um, as, as we go along. Hoping you can hear me with all this wind. To be quite honest. I think uh, comfort-wise, I quite like it. The riding position is great, to be quite honest. Hello, what have we got here? No, they're not chickens, they're pheasants. Come on. All works. <laughs> got pheasants everywhere. Bloody hell. Yeah, so I think it's a good set out. Um, not sure we need to know what direction we're going, but uh, Hey, important thing, it's got a fuel gauge on there, which I'm not sure how accurate they are, but you know, let's face it, there are any fuel gauge is only a rough indication of what it should be. Um, got the rev counter up here, and then you've got your mileometer, etc., just steering along with your speedo, but in there you've also got your gear selector so I can see like there into fifth, fourth, third, etc. Um, I quite like the settle. I quite like it. It's very comfortable around your legs. Very comfortable. The seat looks like it's that hard sort of black foamy rubber but it's not. It's, you know it's a lot softer than it looks. Hello. Hello. What have we here? them. Tiny little chapel. Yes. Anyway. Now, as I was trying to say before, very, very windy today. Yeah, it's not, it's not a quick bike. Don't buy one of these expecting it to be a quick bike. But there's enough to get you out of trouble. And I'll tell you one of the reasons is it's not what I'm saying, a quick bike, is as I <laughs> have only just found out, I always thought, being as most Royal Enfield drove a 500 engine, I always thought this was the same engine, or similar to. Oh, that's terrible, I slowed down a little bit. Can you hear me now? Anyway. Turns out, let me just pull over a minute and let this guy by. Go on, mate. Here we go. Thank you. Anyway, as I was saying, probably better at this speed, you can hear me. Yeah, it turns out it's only a 411cc, which shocks me. 
because I always assumed it was a 500 and I'm pretty sure I've seen other reviews where people have said it's a 500 Turn around. Yeah, just here all now. Yeah, very cool. Oh, it's not nice and easy to turn. There you go. Good for me, Captain. Good suspension. It's a bit like a mini adventure bike. I mean, they call it the Himalayan. I don't think one minute you should be climbing the Himalayas in it. I mean, box standard, these little antenna mirrors sort of, um, to be quite honest, they're awesome as far as view is concerned. They're quite broad shouldered. You see straight past me, no problem. Tire, uh, but not a road tire, it's sort of an in between. Um, trying to think if there was a word for it. around ah. Ah. okay so it's a reasonable sound couple is parked in a lay by people tend to stop and say you're alright mate it's broke down <laughs> okay so what we got 411cc um, from which I understand was totally totally uh, you know a new rebuilt engine specifically for this it's not uh, sort of the old one reduced in size etc <coughs> so let's have a look so on here surprisingly enough we've got Pirelli tyres Pirelli M MT60s on a Go on, get your act together. Da, 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 da. A 21 inch front wheel. And therefore I would imagine about a 19 or an 18 back. Da, 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 da. Never find the bloody things when you want to, can you? 12097, there you go. Ah. Yeah, so Royal Enfield. Himalayan. Quite honest, spoked wheels, black rims, quite like that. Um, I think a lot of day, times these days they only put one disc on and I'm the sort of person I would like to see two. Um, I don't know, it's, it's one of those little things, isn't it? Peace of mind, etc. Now I'm from what I understand, uh, the plastics 
i.e. indicators. You even drop, drop it the slightest, it won't bend, it'll break. Um, but, a lot of them like that these days. Because they realise that people replace them anyway, even if they're scratched. Tiny, tiny little luggage rack on the back. Now these do come with the add-ons, the pint panniers for the back. And you can even get them for the front. But, uh, anyway, there it is, what do you think? Like I say, no specialist on this, first time I've railed one, I've been trying to get to ride one for quite a while now. Quite like it. As usual, with every bike you get to that stage where you're like, oh, I wish it had got a bit more, a bit more guts, a bit more power. Now one thing they do have, you see these, these pegs, if you do decide to go off-roading, got the removable rubbers so you literally stick a 10 bus banner underneath there pull off the rubber stick it in your bag and you've got the serrated edge all the way around not on the back obviously just for the front I quite like the configuration of certain things plastic panels steel tank <coughs> you've got uh, plastic mud guards obviously all metal ones really saying that yeah I think it's a good looking machine but strangely enough and you're gonna laugh but I would go for that over probably any other adventure bike I've seen and the reason being is it's cheap it's lightweight and it's very very usable a lot of these adventure bikes they're all over the top they're, they're almost like trying to be tourers and nobody uses them for it <laughs> nobody uses them for it but there she is 411 cc and i do like it like this all in black they do black white and i've seen various different camouflage colors and so on um i think it's a good looking machine so you've got a little bit of a bash plate uh, underneath there as standard quite like that anyway let's get on her see how she rides aha so it has got ABS okay so we've got an ABS warning like this so obviously we've got ABS I'm assuming it won't have traction control. That'd be a bit silly on an adventure bike, I thought. There you go. I'm just going to pull over and do a little camera on. top speed are or the 0 to 60 times things like that to be quite honest this isn't the sort of bike that you would be buying for top speed or 0 to 60 you might want to know that he's got enough speed to get you out of trouble but um, a lot of things with these I mean look at this a lot of things with these is this is um, how good is it on bumpy roads how good is it off-road? Well, I'm on a test ride, so I'm not going to take it off-road, am I? <laughs> because uh, I don't think they'd be too happy. So what we got here? Pinbrook this way. And... Is it that one? No, it is that one. It's that one. Try this one. I have no idea where I am. There you go. We can do a lot of a lot of meerkat meerkatting quite nice. I'm sort of quite in, right in the middle of the uh, Lincolnshire Wolds at the moment. If you're wondering why, oh, well, why is Skeggy riding up and down hills all of a sudden? So we've got, uh, we've got these here. Trying to find the switch gear for the headlights, I can only assume. I've got a flasher, I've got a main beam on and off. So 
it's one of them things where I can only assume what the headlights are on all the time. There you go then. That's another thing I didn't know. <laughs> well, the twin horn by the sound of that. Yeah, so I'm currently on this uh, test ride for the uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan from LMTs and an LMT motorcycles at Louth. I highly recommend you get down there and, and at least test ride one so that you can see for yourself. I like it. I like it. I think if I was to have one of these, it would be the sort of thing that you'd have to replace, well, I don't know, see I wouldn't want to replace the cruiser, and I wouldn't want to replace the uh, the classic Enfield, so, hmm, maybe it's an addition, that's what you want, the sort of thing you'd want as a, it's a nice all year round bike, but I tell you what, I think with these tyres and everything, it's a make a nice winter, winter bike. find out how much your next demo is. <laughs> There's still 5,000 something miles. I've got the sun making my eyes water along with the wind. And then a bloody cold. Making my nose run. Not good. Not good at all, you know. I've got to get back for a certain time. I've no idea where I am, really. I'm a rough one here. Ah, there you go. Just what we need. See how she goes on a bit of a quicker road. Well people, there she is. In all the glory. You let me know what you think. I think it's very, very nice. I'll tell you what, it's stable as hell. Really, really stable. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. actually owned a bike that's got a, a gear select to tell you what, what gear you're actually in. Yeah, this is really probably one of the most stable bikes I've ever been on. It feels tremendous. service when you consider what is capable of you know, the strange thing is I don't really know what I expected from from this um, but what I found from this is that I'm quite, quite impressed. So, there you go. Royal Enfield Himalayan. Quite impressed. A lot more than I thought I'd be. Which I don't know why. Don't know why I thought it'd pull it, pull it down a bit, but no. Very, very good. Very, very good. And there you go. <coughs> that 
brand new price, 4,195. Hmm. Very good. Right. remember. Ride safe, people. Bye.